Mark, several times uh, during the show, we bumped in with some of your previous readings and people were laughing. Several times in here, people were laughing. And so when we think about getting connected to our loved ones, sometimes we think it's filled with sadness and you make it where it's not. Because spirits are, they're liberated from the woes, the sorrows of the material world. They're not suffering from pain and they want you to be happy. And so the, the, the gift of, of joy and laughter, and that's why people in a profound state of grief oftentimes have a difficult time, say they don't come to me. Well, laughter dissipates that and makes it easier for them to connect. Yeah, and a lot of us just wanna know that they're okay and that they're okay with us. How many of you, even if you didn't get the personal reading, found this in some way therapeutic? Yes. Yeah, yes. And, it, and it changes the way that you look at death a little bit? Mm -hmm or how you feel about how a loved one has passed over. All right, during the holidays, what to keep in mind? What we have to realize during the holidays, and this is what I write about in my book, Never Letting Go, is that our relationship with our loved ones has gone from one of a physical nature to one of a spiritual nature. And what is Christmas all about? It's about the spirituality and eternal life. I mean, just real quickly, the holly wreath is a symbol of eternity. Yeah. The Greeks used to give them at the festival of solstice at the darkest time of the year, which became Christmas. And the holly wreath is a circle which symbolizes eternal life, the evergreen eternal life, and the red berries, the blood of Christ. Ah, it's the crown right. of thorns. You can see Mark Anthony here tonight and tomorrow night when he discusses evidence of eternity, healing and grief through body, mind, and soul. Thank you so much. Thanks for joining us.